I find that with some people, the polish can be like a thin veneer, a politeness that sits on the surface. With Patrick, the polish runs deep. He's a thorough gentleman, through and through. Patrick is a colleague from work. I work in a hospice. Patrick's a retired GP. Three years ago, he invited me to the wedding of his daughter. I didn't actually know his daughter, nor his prospective son-in-law, but such is Patrick's generosity, I got invited to the whole day. Holy Trinity, June the 24th, 2008. I accepted. I remember the day very well. It was the day of the floods. I don't mind going to an Anglican church, but to be honest, I expect it to be dead and the people unfriendly and not much to happen. Because my expectation was low and my defences down, I suppose that's why I was taken by surprise. Caught off guard. The Lord is my shepherd, sang the choir, and out of seemingly nowhere I felt a deep conviction of its truth, and I felt such peace. The Lord is my shepherd. I'd known these words since childhood, but only at that moment did the penny drop. Quite often I feel like a vulnerable child, frightened and lonely and insecure. Does anyone know how I feel? Does anybody care? Is somebody there to defend me? Suddenly I realised the Lord is my shepherd. You are with me and you will comfort me and goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life and I'll never be able to shake them off. Normally I'm an emotionally restrained sort of person but on this occasion, to my embarrassment, I couldn't turn the tears off. The other revelation that dropped into my spirit at that moment was that one day I would join this choir and that in that role I would find my identity and flourish and be at home. So, three months later, when Patrick asks me, would you like to join our choir, I'm all ready with my answer. I'd love to. So, that's how I came to be part of the choir. Sometimes in life, I don't know where I'm supposed to be. But here at least, singing worship to God, I feel wholly at home, as safe as a sheep in a stall.